Are you ready for the big one? And I'm talking about an earthquake larger than anything California will ever experience. An earthquake larger than the Haitian earthquake and the Chilean earthquake that happened just this past year combined. The first responders, the white hats, they're not coming. We know that 95% of everybody that's helped or rescued in an earthquake is helped or rescued by their neighbors. It, it literally brings your neighborhood together. You can find out who's got the power tools, who's got the chainsaw, who's got the cord of wood in the backyard and a nice big wood stove in case the big earthquake happens in the middle of the winter. Who's got the food supply? You pool together. The other thing that we talked about with one of these great earthquakes is they generate tsunamis. Well, we all love to go to the beach, but in a great earthquake, it generates a tsunami, literally a 50-foot wall of water. So when you go to the beach, you have to know what to do. You take your emergency kit with you to the beach, you know where high ground is, and you're gonna be a whole lot safer. Those silly little tsunami warning signs at the beach, they can literally save your life. These types of earthquakes don't kill people. We've seen it in Chile. We saw it in Alaska in 1964. We're talking about magnitude nine earthquakes with very few people dying. It's not the earthquake that is the difficult part of the event, although there's gonna be damage. It's surviving after the earthquake because of the little isolated pockets of neighborhoods, of communities. Um, that's why it's so important to have the kit, have the plan, know your neighbors, and pull together.